Welcome to Chase the Veil. My name is Jeff Hodson from Excite Music and um, publisher of Web Plan 101. Today we are going to be talking about how to utilize bridal shows and bridal galas. This is for the bride to get the most out of attending these events. Um, but before we do that, let's introduce our panel. I'm Jennifer Rossi with Rossi's Catering in the Continental Ballroom. I'm Krista Tharp with Tharp Events and Blissfully Simple Wedding Planning. Chef Joanne with Rossi's Catering in the Continental Ballroom. Mike Wise from Mike Wise Photography. Welcome everyone. Today um, we're going to talk about bridal shows and how when brides and their fiancés or their parents, maid of honor, all the people go with them to the bridal shows, how they can actually um, get something out of it, feel like they've left there um, with accomplishing something. They've learned something, they've found someone that they want to use instead of just achy feet and a bunch of little door prize trinkets that they've picked up at the booth. So um, anyone want to go first? I have three words. <laughs> Vendors don't bite. They don't. <laughs> you p Most likely you go in, you pay to get in. Some of them you pay to get in. You're there because you've got this high concentration of vendors who have paid a lot of money to be there. So utilize them. Don't walk down the middle of the aisle trying not to get eye contact with anyone because if someone talks to me, they're not there to just sell you. We're really there to help you as much as possible. So utilize it. Come with a list of questions that you have. Let's say um, you need to talk to caterers. Make sure that you have that list of, of people that you need to talk to. And here's another thing. Even if you go in and you don't want to have a limo or if you don't want to have a wedding planner, talk to everybody there because a lot of them have services you would never, ever think of. You know, That's a good point. Sometimes going to the bridal show, it's not knowing what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what you're going to find. You may not know you wanted a carriage um, to take you from the church to the reception because you had no idea that that was available. Or sometimes it's less expensive than you think it is. Right. So. Um, Having a plan is one thing, but also having some flexibility um, is, is another. I always enjoy answering the questions because I feel like it gives them that connection with me of what my opinion might be of, you know, whether that's going to be something that might match up with what they think. Um, it's also nice to be able to, you know, say, uh, you know, if you're looking for somebody, let me, let me send you here. And, you know, the, the nice part for bridal shows for me has always just been being able to, one, usually is to see some of the brides that I've already talked to, so there's another connection there with being able to see them again, but being able to answer the questions of, you know, how do you do this and how do you do that on the day of the wedding? So many times, you know, you go to websites and websites, to, for the most part, don't have a lot of pictures of people, so sometimes the first time you go to that bridal show might be the first time you ever even know who that person is. So being able to put a face with their work is, is nice to be able, to, for the brides especially, to, to just connect with them. Something I'm hearing as you guys talk is the fact that Chris is right. A lot of brides will come to the show and they'll just kind of stay to that safe middle part. Um, and, and I believe part of it is because there are vendors out there that are very aggressive and they are there to sell, 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 and that's it. But that's not all the vendors, and usually that's not the best vendors. Mm -hmm. The best vendors are there to do what you said, to answer questions, to meet you know, someone that they've talked to on the phone that's already called to inquire about their services, or maybe it's to put a face to an email. Maybe it's to, sometimes in my case, it's the first time I've met a client. They've called me, we've set up everything, we've booked, I've got paperwork, we're ready. You know, the wedding's six months, a year away, but I've yet to meet that bride face to face. But here she is at the bridal show, and I'm meeting her and her mom, maybe the fiance. Um, but I think brides are afraid that someone's just going to be there to take advantage of them. Right. Um, there are the vendors that act like used car salesmen. It's okay to avoid those. <laughs> they just don't know how to sell. It's right okay <laughs> to say, no, thank you, I'm not interested, and move on. But don't hide in the middle aisle, or you're going to miss some of the best vendors that are more quiet or more laid back and are there to just answer questions. Um, a couple of recommendations I always give brides is, number one, wear comfortable shoes. I'll tell that to the vendors too, wear comfortable <laughs> shoes. Yeah. You're going to be there for a few hours walking around. There may not even be any place to sit down. Be prepared for that and be prepared to be on your feet and walking around and talking. If you're not comfortable, you're going to want to leave and you're going to once again miss out. Um, the other thing is if they are doing individual um, prize drawings at each of the booths and you want to participate in that, 
print out your name, your address, your phone number, your email address, and your wedding date on a little address label so you can just go around and put the stickers on instead of having to write your information out. But I will give, a, just, I will give you a little word of advice. Expect them to contact you. Mm -hmm. That's why they're giving away that door prize is to gather your information so that they can follow up with you. So, you know, if you don't want them to call, then don't put your phone number. If you don't want them to email, then don't do that. But give them some way to contact you, otherwise they won't be able to at all. Um, set up a email account that's just for your wedding. Um, you know, go idea. get a free yeah. email account. That's a great you know, idea. and set that up. That's just for your wedding. That way, you know, as you're talking to these vendors, that can be your catch-all. And then, as you contract the vendors you like, give them your, you know, personal email because you're going to be having a lot of conversation with them. Um, if you want to go crazy with that, you can rent a PO box. You can go get a disposable cell phone. You know, for you know that you pay twenty five dollars a month for. Jeez, that's I mean, a little. <laughs> you know what? I would rather a bride do that and give me information that at least I know she's going to hear yeah. what I have right. or see the information, information. Then, then to right. give me fake information. Yeah. Yeah. You know, don't give me fake information. It's okay to say, no, I don't feel comfortable giving that out, but I'd rather you not lie. That's not a real good way to start a relationship. Mm -hmm. Maybe you might want to actually hire me. Mm -hmm. And then you got to explain, well, I gave him the wrong address, the wrong wedding date, and maybe I shouldn't call him, but I really like him. <laughs> One thing that I would you like could, to add you to that, fix that from, from the beginning. From a vendor standpoint, I don't mind if brides tell me no. Like right. either email or call, you know, I'll get a, a, an availability check for a date and, and I'll, I'll email and I'll call and I don't hear anything. So, I'm, you know, and I know brides are busy, so I'll wait a few days and, you know, check back because I'm the same way. You know, it's like we all put things off mm -hmm. and then at the last minute, okay, I'm going to do this. So I'll send another email or I might leave another voicemail. At that point right there, I'm thinking, okay, is this is this bride interested? I don't want to bug her, but I also don't want it to be where I feel like she's, you know, just busy and right. you know, and expects for me to get a hold of her at that perfect time. So, right. you know, if that's the case, great. But if it's not the case and you're not interested, just shoot me an email back and say, you know what, I've either found someone else or I've already booked that you know that vendor and and I don't need your services I'm mm -hmm. perfectly fine with that and I would love to hear that over nothing and that's <laughs> that's where sometimes it is uh, yeah. I think the other thing to use the bridal show for is to like debunk those myths you have about certain vendors you know maybe you think this vendor is way out of my price range or they only do this type of event or you think you know I, you know to, to hire a DJ is you know, it doesn't matter what type of DJ or, you know, just whatever those myths might be or those stereotypes might be, a bridal show is a good place to see a lot of vendors and just get that, you know, out of the way. So you, now you're not calling all these people. You have them in one room and you can, you know, figure out who do you like or, you know, oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be or, you know, I thought you had to do this, this or that. You know, it helps kind of really very quickly get to know this industry and and some of the things you need to, for your wedding. And that's the feedback. You know, mm -hmm. if you're asking questions, you're going to hear from other vendors. You right. know, if you're looking for this, you know, I've worked with them several times. They do a great job. Yeah. You know, I'm never going to say, oh, don't use that person. But I'll be glad to tell you 10 times over and over who I love working with. And, right. you know, they do a great job. I know they're going to be reliable. And that's that's huge. Uh, that makes our day that yeah. much <laughs> better when we know that the bride's getting those quality vendors to stay on top of everything through the rest of the day. And another thing is come with questions. Not, I'm getting married on this day, how much do you cost? But real questions about... I, I would like to do this at my wedding. I've always dreamed of having that at my wedding. How can I do it? We're there to help. Mm -hmm. All of us would be happy to say, well, this is how you can do it. Or even if we have to tell you, we can't do it for you. You know, maybe I have to say, I can't do that, but you know what? Let me take you over here and introduce you to Jennifer or to Krista. They can. Uh, at least I've helped you. And at the end of the day, you've gotten your question answered. Um, if you just walk up to me and say, I'm getting married, are you available on how much? It's kind of a tough way to start really opening up and building a report and answering questions. I can't be real helpful because I can't tell you how much I am. You haven't told me what you wanted. Right. You know, it, it's not a one size fits all. You can't walk into a dress shop and say, how much is a wedding dress? There's a lot more to it. And that goes with every Ev single vendor. Every vendor in this field. You yeah. know, in there. <clears throat> but what I see is a lot of brides, they're not, 
It's not that they don't have questions. They don't know what questions to ask. Mm -hmm. They feel uncomfortable. Ask them anyway. Because we're going to have a lot of questions that we're going to ask. And, and we can help so you. So we can get to know you. That's the point. We will, help, we will help you find those questions. But the more you tell us about what you want and talk to us, the better we can do our job. And our job isn't to necessarily just to book you. Our job is to make sure that you get the wedding that you want. And even if that's what you tell a vendor, here's what I want, here's my dream, how can you help me get there? You know, that might be the only question you need to ask. Because it might, you know, there might be the occasion where it's, I can't help you, but let me introduce you to, or it might be, well, here's what we can do. Here's how you get there, you know. It's a good and, way to judge personalities, too, uh -huh. just by talking to them. And the creativity of your vendor. Can mm -hmm. your vendor do it? Yeah, you know? how do they work under pressure with questions? These are all excellent things um, to bring to a bridal show with you. So come prepared, come comfortable, plan to look around. And above all, plan to talk to the exhibitors that are at the show. That's what they're there for. So um, I want to thank all the members of our panel. Uh, remember to leave your comments or questions below here at the website at chasetheveil.com, and we will see you next time.